Yes, I think we are ready. Hi everyone again. So today we will continue with our achieve article. Two articles were before the uh, whole day started. So let's remember the names of them. I think one of them was bloggers. Maybe you will remember it too. Bloggers to food pay cheap. That was the article. So that you can remember, I'm opening on my own account too. This one. So this article. I know that everyone's level is different. So mine seems very long for you. But we are not going to read it. You just read it. That's why we will only talk about the main idea and the ideas. Of course, there is one question before the reading. I want your opinions as well. So I will ask you. Here, it says... If you owned a restaurant, would you want food bloggers to review your establishment? Think about yourself. You own a restaurant. You are the owner. Would you want food bloggers to write something about your restaurant? Think about it. I mean, bloggers, you know, blogs, bloggers. Would you want that? Would you want food bloggers to write something about your restaurant? For example, it's a fast food restaurant. And you say, a uh, blogger says, oh, that's a good restaurant. You should go. The French fries are great there. That's one comment. And the other one, no, you don't go there. It's a very dirty restaurant. Nothing tastes very delicious. Nothing is good. Which one would you prefer? Do you want food bloggers to come to your restaurant? I think ah. is um, yes. I mean, why, Emit? Why do you want that? Why? Because... Um, because if they can write on the internet and everybody can hear your restaurant. But yeah. it might be good for you, right? It might be good for your restaurant too. Okay. So, Bridget, what do you think? Do you want to blow their... Huh? Yes, because my restaurant... It, Advertising and uh -huh. uh, it will be good advertising. Everybody will mm -hmm. know your restaurant name. Maybe you will have lots of customers there. Huh? Yes. Yes, thank you. Arda, any opinions? Yes. Okay. I mean, do you want food bloggers to write mm -hmm. about your restaurant? Uh, is it a yes. good thing? Huh? Yes. Okay, yes. And a lot more. Uh, yes, because uh, it's uh, very beautiful and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you like that idea? Yes. Okay. So if there are no other ideas, I'm moving. That was our first essay. So the article is mainly about what bloggers to food and they just write something good about the restaurant. So I'm skipping that part. The next article on your worksheet was now they are cooking. And that's a good one. Uh, among us, who is interested in cooking? Are there any are there anyone who is interested in cooking? Do you cook? Or can you cook? Or can you, I mean, if you can cook, what do you cook generally? Nowadays, we are at home all the day. Do you cook something? And by the way, that article, now they are cooking. I'm just clicking on this. Okay. Here, again, there are ideas, as you can see. Which do you think will be most helpful to people who cook at home? There are options, four options. Here it says, taking a cooking class. I mean, it's like a lesson. You go and you just take lessons. It's about cooking. Do you do that? Or finding free online recipes. Uh, you know, the, there is a website, very famous one. Uh, www.nefisliemektarfe.com Maybe you remember that. Do you do that? I mean, do you search for the recipes online? For example, do you want to cook 
I mean, let's say roasted chicken. We just uh, search for the online recipe. Here, reading cookbooks and cooking magazines. Do you just read cookbooks? I don't know, you just think about it. Or watching cooking programs on television. I think that's one of the popular ones in Turkey. There are always cooking programs on TV. Which one do you prefer when you want to cook? Just look at the ideas. Which one do you want to do it? Özlem? Anything? Özlem, are you interested in cooking? You can turn on your mic to talk. Azam, are you there? I think you are there, but... Does Azam no answer then? No? Okay, Yamur, can you help us a little bit? Are you interested in cooking? No. No? That's a very specific answer. Okay. Who is interested in cooking? No one? You don't even try it? Will you just say something, please? You don't even try cooking at home? Teacher, no watching cooking programs in TV because uh, the people want in TV and uh, information, the mm -hmm. people cooking. Okay. Uh, you don't prefer just TV programs about cooking. I yes. see. Okay, thank you. Come back, what about your opinions? I mean, which one do you choose would be the most helpful? Teacher, uh, I am... Uh, I am uh, um, Are you interested in cooking? Huh? Answers is... Um, Taking a cooking class. Ah, you prefer that one. Okay. Nice one. I see. Thank you. All right. Now, I think nobody is interested in cooking, so I'm just skipping that part. Now, let's come back to your homework. Your assignment was write it down, this article. If you haven't done it, please complete it by Wednesday because I just extended the date. Some students said we couldn't find it, so I just gave you two extra days. Please complete it. But just to talk a little bit, let's just see the idea what is this article about. Let's see. Writing down your feeling, writing, taking notes. Writing down your feeling is the best way to handle anxiety. Anxiety means it's like you are panicking, you are stressed, you are under pressure. You don't feel well. You don't feel good. What do you do? Do you write your opinions? Do you write your feelings? Oh, there is an earthquake. I feel so uh, afraid. What, what's going to happen? I'm so panicking. Blah, blah, blah. Do you write your opinions when you feel inside it? I mean, when you feel stressed? Right? Can I? Yes. Huh. Can I answer the question? Of course, please. Yes. Angry. The question, uh, answer is angry. Again, please, Emir. Agree. Angry. You agree with the idea. Do you think writing helps when you feel bad? Yes. Hmm, okay, nice one. What about the others? I mean, any ideas? Do you write your bad uh, ideas or do you write do you write bad things about your life? Do you keep a diary, maybe? What do you do? Yamur, do you do that? Do you think writing helps you? Yes. Okay, I mean, you, generally everybody agrees with the idea. Yes, but, I agree with the idea. I know, but I don't know. Sometimes we don't have time to write something. Yamur, what were you saying? You agree with the idea. I mean, I if there is anyone disagree with writing, yes. please share your opinions. I guess nobody disagrees 
Wow, everybody is a writer here. Okay. So this was your article. And as you see it, the article part, please read it. Complete the activities by Wednesday. At the end of Wednesday, I will check on check online and I will write on Akbim the results. Please. Now I'm skipping that part because we will continue with eyes open books. Everyone, get ready on your eyes open books page uh, page six to seven, please. I guess everybody is ready. Ready. Sorry for this. Okay. When you are ready, we will continue with this. And so far, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Is there anything? Is there anything you want to ask? Is there anything you want to say about this? Now we will continue with gerunds and infinitives. And let's remember, gerunds and infinitives are about verbs and the verbs who take ing. We say what? Gerund. The verbs who take to, they are infinitive forms. And how can we differentiate them? Maybe you are wondering this part. But the important thing is we should know the basic rules for that. I mean, how? If there are some nouns, if there are some nouns, we will just use gerunds. If it is in the beginning of the sentence, we will just write it. If there are some prepositions, we will do gerunds again. If there is an adjective, it's an easy thing to do. You say infinitive. There are some basic rules. Please try to keep them on mind while you are doing the activities. We will just do that. Now, as you can see on exercise 3, it's about, on exercise 3, it's about the gerunds and infinitive parts. Please try to do it while the video is getting ready. It was ready, guys, by the way, but I think about the internet connection, it just went down. So... Sen let's check the sentences. Everybody has the book. So, Arda, can you start reading from the first sentence, please? Okay. Can here. Can you see it? Huh. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, complete the examples from the listening on page uh, 66. Then match the sentences. Uh, one for the, the rows A, B. Okay, but I think you just wrote, read the other part. I mean exercise 3 on page 16. Ah, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, okay huh. find it now. Okay. Uh, huh. Every year the anime and gaming convention is held over two days in London. Mm -hmm. There are so many things. So the there it's easy uh, getting. Uh uh it's easy to, to get. get. Arda, be careful, it's an adjective. When you see the adjective, you always choose infinitive, okay? To okay. get. Everyone please circle to get. Because okay. there is an adjective, we choose infinitive form. Let's move on. The teacher is explaining by the way. Let's listen to her. Talking, then we will talk a lot more. Okay. Uh, confused uh, by Arda, Arda, you can stop it now. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, another teacher is explaining. Please pay attention. Just like I said, here there is an adjective, easy. That's why you choose to. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
We chose gerund here because it's the noun sentence. Remember, it's in fear we said in Turkish. That's because there is a sentence beginning. We chose gerund form. Okay, please everyone circle. Again, want is an infinitive verb. That's why you chose to, to go. Next one, there is of and of is a preposition. When you see the preposition, you always choose the words. See, of is a preposition. You should follow Jeremy then. <laughs> Expect is the infinitive verb. You choose to see. Guys, enjoy is gerund, so gaming, we say. Again, dressing up is the beginning of the sentence, and they just formulate a noun sentence. That's why you choose gerund here. Dressing up, please circle them. Here, buy, buy is a preposition. When you see the preposition, you choose gerund form. <laughs> choose is an infinitive verb. We should memorize them, guys. I always tell you. Choose is infinitive. That's why we go with infinitive. Without is preposition again, so we choose gerund form. Okay, just like we told, without is a preposition, that's why you choose Jaden for. That was the problem, that was the thing here, okay? So I found a video for you. There are some basic, I mean, the most popular Jaden and infinitive words. I mean, are there any questions on the chatting part? Let's see. Sound is too low. Ah, Dirija, can you hear me now? I think I'm just loud, but yeah. ah, okay, no problem then. Yes. Now I have the video about gerunds and infinitives. I mean, it will be more visual for you, so that you can see some words, which ones are the most popular ones. Let's see. The sound will come now. See, discuss, recommend, and consider. They are the popular gerund words. That's why they show you.
again. Uh, I think you can check your notebooks too. We took some notes about this specific verge. I mean, they just take gerunds. You have to know them, okay? Now, so far, they were gerund verbs. Now it will continue with infinitive verbs. Let's just see which ones are the popular ones. Let's see. Would like, also, slash, would love. I mean, both of them are infinitive verbs. Again, most popular ones. Okay, guys, so we can stop there. Exceptions are not that important right now. The thing is, we have to know some basic verbs. Which one should be? So, yeah. Okay, Bridget, I will like, explain it later to you. Now, guys, we have, it's 1.30. I know you have mentor meeting, so I will stop it here. Do you have any questions so far? Just please remember your achieve assignment is by Wednesday. Please complete it. At the end of Wednesday, I will just check them on ACPIM. And our next lesson will be on Wednesday, I guess. Okay? See you, everyone. Take care of your